Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We are at 30, 30, 30,000. I would hate to be at 30. We are at 300,000 ish rubles uh, left until we might need to take out another loan. Uh, and that's something that I'm trying not to want to do. Um, so, anyways, there's a lot of comments on the last episode. I actually didn't need to move the. Um, the pump jack so realistically i mean this this is the, all of this stuff is still here i mean it's being demolished as we speak um but i think what i might do is i might actually leave this one uh here uh maybe what we'll do is trim it back um assign okay so i'm gonna trim that back so what was said was pump jacks actually don't pollute. I mean, it, it's 400. This is over 400 meters, and it shouldn't pollute that far. So I think I might put the pump jacks back, and then with this fuel storage, I actually have a purpose again. Uh, and then this one up here, I mean, obviously, this, this one has a purpose. Uh, so we'll just kind of have two locations with pump jacks. Uh, we might even be able to add in another pump jack. Uh, maybe not. It's only about 34%. So we won't add it back. But anyways... So then we get some more pump jacks. We can get these two back in here because what was the issue with pollution was all of the garbage buildup that we had and they weren't able to get it out. And actually, this is already filled up. Um, so it might be beneficial. Uh, oh, and also please let me know if you guys liked that um, initial starting um, kind of intro video I had. Uh, I don't know if if that was if it's going to be liked or not. I wanted to kind of like be able to tell a story uh, along with what I do during these gameplays. But uh, yeah, just let me know if that um, was interesting. Obviously, I put a timestamp, so if you wanted to, you could easily just skip ahead uh, if you didn't want to watch it. So let me know uh, if if y'all liked that or if you didn't, and then we can kind of go from there. Uh, another thing that was mentioned is obviously we're getting so backed up here it might be beneficial because right now we have bricks we have steel but the other stuff that we don't provide is prefab and, and all that stuff but realistically the most stuff that's sitting obviously we have wood that's trying to be exported uh boards and then we have a truck that's trying to grab workers um uh, but what was also mentioned because we don't necessarily need to do that because we can tell our construction offices, which we don't have any buses here, but we do have buses located. I have to remember which one is here. So what I could do is say grab workers from here. So now they'll take the workers off of this platform and use them for construction purposes. Um, but I don't think I can designate who they take which is a problem but i mean most of the time the i don't see the highly educated workers doing anything other than what they need to do which is like treating patients which we you know we're, we're running into an area where there's uh, a surplus needing treating but they don't they don't bounce to the other one and i don't understand that so obviously they can only treat about six and we have about eight waiting here there's there's a surplus so what we might need to do is we might need to focus on making that bigger hospital uh, coming up here soon. He just, this guy just, is this, who's this guy going to? Oh, this guy's going to the other station. So that's something I'm concerned about because obviously they're going to they're gonna chew up our numbers. Um, no water. Who doesn't have water? Hold up. Ooh. Amenities, water. Is our water? No, our water is working. It's full. Well, that's sewage. Yeah. No water. Are we running out of water supply? Okay, well, let's take a look here. Who's unable to get water? Now, the unable to visit the hospital is a is a, is a problem. Unable to okay, that's just just a minor thing. Um, so maybe it might look like we need to make another uh, water production. 
uh, due to the fact that apparently some citizens can't get water. The lack of clothing thing still just baffles me because obviously these are fully full. So I don't know how they're not having clothes. No water's new. Um, so that might have to be addressed, but that can be addressed in a little bit. Um, something that, uh, so there's two things I think that because obviously these are, these are full. We, we need to get something bigger for the population that we have. Obviously our demand is too high and if they can't visit a hospital, that's going to be not good. So we have about 2000, these two small clinics can't keep up. So I, what I'm thinking, and obviously it's going to cost us a little bit, but punching in, it's a big hospital. <laughs> Wait, what did I want to put in here before? I think it was the hospital. No. Yeah, I think it was a hospital. It's the only issue is if we put the hospital here, they would need a walk over here but they can't reach and there's no bus line that goes this way right um so they wouldn't be able to reach so maybe the maybe the best place for the hospital is not there maybe the best place for the hospital is up here somewhere or even over here we do need to find a good place for this hospital because obviously even it could maybe fit somewhere in here No, maybe not. This is producing enough, I believe. Current production per work day. Current production percentage. Yeah, we're not even at full capacity yet. So we should be fine. But we do need to figure out a place. And I thought this was a good place for the hospital. But now looking at it, obviously we don't have a bus line that brings them over here. All of them kind of go over here and they sit. So we should, we should put a hospital somewhere over here. Okay, the water is pretty much going away. Okay, yeah, so we should, we should place a hospital somewhere around in here. But it's just finding that good location. I am thinking maybe right in here, because obviously once we correct this road, there will be space here. It's just we need to get it corrected. So what I'm thinking I might do is here I don't have plans in the near future. For anything to go so i'm actually gonna go aggregate and go aggregate storage uh and i'm gonna place it here temporarily actually i'm gonna move it back i don't want it i don't want people to block up this intersection here so i'm gonna actually push this back i'm gonna put it up in here this gives them enough of a runway so they're not blocking anything uh and then i'm gonna go to i believe it was yes yeah, this one I just need to find where it's currently dropping off. Okay, that's the gravel quarry. And this one. Yeah, okay. So I need to tell it to stop sending it there. And I need to tell it to start sending there. Okay, so we're going to have a bit of a surplus of gravel coming in. Uh, but that's okay. And actually, I, what I could tell them to do too is uh, from here, I think I might just need to move change the order so yeah this one's here so load gravel and then unload here but at 60 percent yeah so now they'll load from here so they'll take all the gravel away they'll put it over here i can delete this and then we can put the hospital in there once it's finally completed but something that i do want to look at doing is i want to have another um, clothing factory. I think we have enough working staff where this is working half capacity. We could easily, what people were saying in the comments, is we could easily add in another clothing factory, which would help us raise up our clothing production. Just the only issue is um, we have three of these going to get to get the props from here. But obviously, right, like they're doing quite a lot of waiting because all these other cars are trying to get in. You know, they need concrete, they need chemicals. I'm not sure. Oh, then you're going to drop it off here. Okay, so you are dropping off. All right. Um, so yeah, they're they're waiting on they're waiting to get in. Um, I know that a Karen. A, hopefully I'm saying that right. Black a Karen. 
um, mentioned the the workshop mod, so we'll we'll maybe look to get into that. But you know, the everyone's kind of waiting to do something here. Like they're waiting to drop off hazardous waste. Uh, they're waiting to get crops, and they're waiting to do all that. So, um, actually, maybe I should change. Actually, I need to change the order of this. Uh, this should be bottom of the queue. Anyway, so, um. There's just a big pile up here just because they're trying to export and then they're also trying to get crops so they can deliver crops because I think our biggest detriment right now is the amount of crops that we can pull in but this distribution office was finished here uh, and now that it's up and running I feel like it has no purpose because like obviously all the trucks are going to have to like go from there come here go you know and just going to bounce back and forth if we did add some more closed halls uh, which which does make a bit of a hassle um but something that we could do is obviously all of these trucks here they are supplying the inner workings of our city they're providing all the meat and everything that needs to come into the city so realistically we could time being uh we could copy the tasks here could then call all the trucks home uh, and then can we yeah change workplace we can change them all to there so now they'll all go over here and now they'll do the same thing but at least now they're in the city uh, and then they just have to go to the uh, the the fact um, the, the custom house but mostly they sit here uh, and now we can actually get rid of this distribution office so now we have a free one to do what we need with and hopefully this is demolition office can i also tell the demolition office just to grab oops can i tell you also just to grab workers from gary station so you stop going to the the border because at least if we can cut down on that i think we're doing okay at least we're cutting down on grabbing workers right um from from there so that should definitely help but um Building is without power supply. Okay, well, that's not an issue because that only matters for filling up and there is a gas station right here. Um, but we should probably get it... Uh, get its own power supply in there. Um, we will do that here in a little little bit. I'm surprised that the power doesn't reach. Because where are our transformers? There's one here. Is it, like, just out of range? maybe and then where's the other one we have another one now we have more than one. Oh yeah here's the other one and then i think we have a third yeah there's another one so this one if this one goes down it kind of hoops this entire place so realistically i think we should get another one um probably even like right here would be fine and then that would supply um more power that's a lot of lines <laughs> Uh, I'll just do, I'll do something like that. And then we can add just a dirt path. And then if we go underground, I need to connect to there. Um, yeah, and then what I think we might do is obviously this is a lot running off this transformer and we can bring more big lines out. So I'll probably just end up running more big lines uh, out and past so if we can connect to there that would be yeah that's the last one that we're going to do for that uh and then everything else is going to we're going to bring in uh, a big power line run it over here probably do another transformer here or another switch and then at least we can do some more powering and then this yeah, now this will get powered but currently i mean the only the, the only downside is they won't have fuel uh, allocated i mean it's not a huge huge problem uh yeah because he won't head out to go do that because there's no power no power is fine just for temporary purposes um yeah that's great so now that that's operational this is um this is going everything in the town looks okay um once this gravel is uh all taken away which they're working on it I will then move this path correctly. Then we can build a hospital in here, which will service all of this. Uh, and if it can't reach every single person, this bus stop 
Uh, which actually, why... Why can it not reach these back houses? I thought yesterday, yeah, okay, so it can reach there, and then can they walk to there? How does that work? Or can I build... Or do I have to build a pedestrian overpass? I don't... Can they connect like that? I don't think they can. Also, how did I not see that there's one right here? It's a little bit nicer. So maybe... Maybe I do have to build an overpass here so I can get to this side. So if I did something... Like this... And then like that. Uh, and then can I build not a steel bridge, a concrete bridge? Yeah, can I do something like that? And then like that. Now will they all be able to reach? Yes. Okay. So we just we just had to cut the cut the distance, and then they can also walk to here. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, now they can walk to all this stuff. Um, but, well, okay. Distractions. Distractions! Um, I want it, I want to look at how are we going to build another clothing factory in here. Uh, because that is something that, uh, we want to get. So another clothing factory. We can hook it up here like this. Right? Uh, which we need it hooked up to the warehouse. But what I'm trying to see is if we run it around this way... I think that's enough distance. Obviously, this is not where our main clothing is going to go. Our main clothing production is going to have to go over here uh, by these silos. Uh, ideally, like just having them bouncing back and forth like this is optimal. So that one when, when we harvest, which we're going to have to plan for next after winter breaks, our next harvest, because then uh, these will just easily be able to move a whole bunch of um crops and, and we don't have to like run a bunch of trucks as you can see definitely crops is our bottleneck and causing the most issue so it might be beneficial also too to make a larger um place for uh trucks to drop off but I mean, it's kind of, we can't really worry too much about the stuff that we can easily is like building a hazard drop. Uh, and then this would open up so that we can do more of these. We can't really focus on these. Uh, we can't really focus on the coal. Coal needs to come in until we get our own plant up. And then we can tell them to stop. But currently we, we do need to have our own coal coming in. Uh, actually, I'm going to up the numbers. I'll just do 10 here. I don't, I don't need a lot uh, just to keep making bricks. So... Apparently we can't solve this issue. It's going to have to be kind of how it is because they're going back for, for more crops. Again, we're, we're out of crops. Crops seems to be the biggest thing right now. Um, something that I do hope to do soon is be able to get rid of that. Uh, having to go get crops. I wonder how this... I wonder how it is affecting us for construction because obviously we only have four percent uh we do need to get this up but we also need a hot um a school and stuff i'll, I'll explain that in a minute i just want to get this up i gotta I got stop getting distracted so um crime is on the up and up we might need another police station is there a bigger police station crime police station large yeah and this has way 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 more I don't know why it says like serious crime, right? It's like, you know, probably won't be able to get solved. There's a low chance of solving this case with this police station. Why with this one? Why with this one specifically? Um, oh well. Seven prisoners escaped last year. Holy crap. Um, apparently there's massive high crime. 36 people are affected. I'm able to get clothes is affected. I'm able to visit the hospital. And then we'll enjoy culture, no water. I don't understand the no water. Who is not getting water? Like, do we need another well? Because these, there's always seems to be, notify me when production stops. Because we might not be, we might be draining this too much. 
with uh, with the construction office. Uh, anyways, and then if, when we build this, it's really gonna drain it, right? And I'm trying to leave this this building open so when we have people moving out of the flats, we don't affect. And also, this is gonna drain, so we really need to bolster our our numbers here. Um, is it right now? We have 68. They're gonna take some. I don't even know where. Where is the construction office buses? I don't know. I have no idea. Anyways. Alright, so yeah, let's get this down. Obviously, this is going to take some time to get down. Uh, and I'm going to block it this in. Yes, I'm going to block it in. Um, not ideal, but I think it's the best way. I'm going to place it there. Um, oops. We don't need this. We do need that one, though. And then they can all pull from the same... And then we'll see if we can swing this around. And then can they walk? Yes. Okay. And they have everything that they need. Now they just need to build it. Build it and they will come. And then there's our other... Another clothing factory. So this fabric factory can keep pumping out fabric. Which is pumping it out at a larger amount than I think we can take it. When we have crops. Uh, I do believe. But that should help our number. Um, that should help give us a boost, apparently speaking, from what everyone's telling me. It should give us a boost. Uh, and then in terms of crime, I don't know if that means we need another police station. Uh, getting clothes, I, I really have no idea. Um, there might just be a time where I have to, when I'm not recording, just watch what's what's going on. Why why we don't have clothes when we, when we have a drastic surplus. <laughs> of clothes um we do have a large amount and then i maybe have to figure figure out the water thing is there a way to show like water pressure ah zero bars why zero bars huh. what what oh this is red because this is red is it not producing enough? That's green, that's red. And then... That's just not even done. Wait, what? It's pumping off of there. Oh, this isn't done yet, but that is. Okay, so... I don't think this... How much can this produce a day? 16? And how much output is this having a day? Well, this is a this is another unfound issue. How much can this build, How much can this pump out a day? Maybe do I have to look at the water? Water pumping station? Small water well. Max daily production, 70. We're at max workers reduce 70 max flow of processed water seven yeah because because obviously oh how did i have that menu open up the last time uh show overlay ah here we go okay so this has no water pumping in it's red but this is green. But these are red. Does that mean... What does that mean? And I kind of bottlenecked myself with this, didn't I? Is it just because they're too small? I think these are larges, though. Or they're at least medium. What is medium pump? 56. Yeah, because these are barred, but these aren't getting bars. None of this is. And these have people living in them. Um, How much is this producing? Five. And how much...
Uh, max flow up pressure per day, 56. So that is a medium pipe. It's inputting five. What is... Okay, this is now flashing. Okay, so... Input is five, so it's a medium pipe. They had water there for a second. Um, those are all outs. I mean, I do have an out here, so I could no, but everything is. Oh man, how does this work? <laughs> Feel lost. Um, like, do we not have enough water or is it just not enough water pressure? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Cause this is green. So this must be enough water pressure this way. Uh, cause the input is six. Output is 20. That's a small. Output is 56. And, and output is 56 because these seem to be steady ish so maybe it needed the large one hmm okay uh so okay what if we what is this servicing servicing this I think if we what is this all service? All of that. And then what is this one service? All of that. Okay, so what if we did this? And did a, did a little bit of a tester. I think we have enough water flowage out. It's just, I maybe mean, we don't have enough um, water substations with large pumps. So what I'm gonna look to do is right in in here uh, if i can actually maybe because uh, that need eh, screw it water trucks can do that um i i build it here please Hello? Can I please build it, please? Sir? Uh, okay, if I flip it, I'll be able to build it here, and then... I'll make it just into dirt, like that. Um, build it, high priority it. Medium priority. We should have enough stuff that we can do both projects. Uh, build this. And then we need to uh, demolish that. And then can I demolish this? Yeah. And then here we will use explosive just to get rid of it quickly. And then we'll just dismantle this one appropriately. Let's make sure that the demolition office is underway. Add assignment. Perfect. We'll demo that. And then we will add a large pipe in through there. And then we'll see if that fixes the problem. Actually, what I should do while this is um, being destroyed I really should add in another switch. Add in a water switch or a pump. I think if it goes from a switch, if it goes from a switch, it has to go into a pump. Um, can I do something here? Oh yeah, I could. So if I did... 
but then I'd have to pump it there. Hmm. Well, okay, so if I if I put this one here. That's a sewage. So if I I got rid of this one, so now they just need water. If I ran this one directly in, I could probably get rid of this one. Add another add a pump to give me three more. And I could run more through here. Okay, I think that's gonna fix the problem. No water, but people are visiting hospitals a little bit better. Um, I just think that we need to add a larger hospital. So once this is gone, then we can do that. Okay, a little bit, a little bit stressful, um, but we're making do. We're making do, people. We're making do. We're only 30 minutes in, and. I feel like every single episode, it's another issue that arises and we're just fighting it and I'm learning it and I'm like, I don't, I don't fully know what I'm doing, but Hey, we're, we're trying. Uh, I do know we do need to bolster our numbers though, uh, for what's going on. So I'm hoping something else I should do too, is I should, I know it's going to cause an issue. I should add a switch, should add a switch in here somewhere. Yeah, if I do a switch in here, then I can do a pump and then I can run off more substations and then I can have this run into there uh, and then I have more switch opportunities because I think we just need to have more uh, larger pumps in uh, and I think it'll help fix the issue. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll circle back to this. Uh, in a little bit, because I don't think it's fully causing us the most issues. I mean, no water, like, yeah, a lot of them over here can't get it. Um, but do we have, we have water cisterns, right? Uh, sewage. We have one sewage truck. I'm almost curious. I'm almost just tempted to, yeah. Can you service people with water? Yeah, okay. So you guys will go... Go help out, sure. And then once you're up and operational, then I'll figure out. But at least you guys can deliver water to these people that don't have water. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's super big of an issue, but um, we'll, we'll get it fi figured out. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. Things are looking a little bit better, I guess. Uh, full and yeah, wood storage is full. So I'm just going to shut this down in the meantime while we sort that out. Uh, they're missing fabric. They're missing crop. Yeah, crops is... Crops is big. Um, so they're... Man, is it even worth exporting wood? Who's exporting wood? I'm going to tell you to stop. I don't even think it's worth it. Where's your distribution office? Here. Okay. Um, don't even worry about that. Steel storage. Yeah, worry about that. Uh, yeah, and then you can unload and then Brave open storage. Yeah, what? This can go Okay, now we're not going to export our boards. I just think it's stupid. It's just clogging up traffic here Um, And yeah, I'm gonna add that just because I don't want them to continuously be going to the border and Really they're not bringing that much to the border um, I think I might start putting the dumps here uh, yeah I'm gonna do a dump another dump this dump over here it's just gonna be mixed waste uh, this one's gonna be hazardous materials and I believe these are the guys yeah because it's the only place I have so they will do Hazardous waste, which I think is also biological. Nope, it's right here. Hazardous. Go there. I don't think we have plastic, aluminum, or metal scraps or anything else like that. So now at least that'll shore up, you know, these guys. Um, well, these, they, they were just doing a pipeline, so that's fine. But yeah, these guys need crops. It's just, it's filling up. I need concrete. Who, what are you guys getting? You guys are getting coal. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's also take a quick look just while we're here interiors. Let's just take a gander 
Uh, it looks like it looks like we're doing okay f in terms of our heating situation, um, but that might change in the winter time. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, so yeah, this now is done. So now I can take a large pump. Oh, this isn't done. Not quite yet. They have some stuff to take away. Once it's done, I'll be adding a large pipe into here. And then probably removing this one. Remove this one so I can add another pump, I guess, here-ish somewhere. And then adding another substation here-ish with a large pipe and see if that relieves the issue at hand. I'm, I'm hoping it does, but we'll kind of see what, what happens, so. Um, that's 3%, 7%. I think there's a lot of people unable to work right now due to sickness. Five without a job, but can't work because all kindergartens are full. Yeah, so this needs to be figured out because obviously we're, I think we're maxing out our citizen's happiness is too low. I don't believe you. It's at 67%. It's fine. Um, yeah, so we might need to add... So that was another thing that was mentioned. Um, and I don't know if we can build it right away. Probably can. This is almost... This is finally almost done. Thank goodness. How many do you just drop off? One. Literally one. <laughs> Literally one. Oh, man. I just don't know if we have enough um, people. Oh, research finished. We're at here. Okay, so now we can actually determine the the uh, minimal government loyalty for employees. Um, we can't do it for students yet. Um, secret police. I might leave this just empty for right now just so that we can invest more into uh, our students. And once this is done, I'll, I think I'll do the same so we can invest more into our students and at least get our highly educated up before we before we continue that process. Um, 1964. I feel like some people already have trains. I mean, if you watch uh, Bilo Joe or whatever his uh, name is, I, I can't pronounce it, but you watch him he he probably already has like trains up and running and he's just he's just flying planes and trains and boats and i'm like struggling here with 2000 ish people i mean hey the, at least it's better than our first season they're staying alive they didn't die after like one season so i mean i guess i can't complain too much right um so there's some pollution going on uh, and it very much well, there was a mention that apparently the sewage char discharge makes a lot of pollution, but you can't see it. Uh, but we also could just have a pile up of, we could just be having a pile up of, uh, garbage causing some pollution. Um, but I'm not too, I'm not too sure. And I'm not too sure how to full actually, can I not just check it here? Yeah. Waste. Yeah, 75%. This one's at 75. Yeah, so it could just be pollution from that. Maybe. Or it is literally from, from there. Only 72 people are affected by it. Uh, probably these people on the outskirts of town, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, who knows, though? Maybe we might need to get some more dump trucks soon some more dumpers um but I, I think we're i think we're okay this isn't full yet i mean it's getting there and then this is hazard waste which hasn't had anything in it yet uh, why are you i told you where to put your hazardous waste and you're still maybe it's still the lineup that was uh previously from there so all right, notify me when overflowing. Is this done yet? Ah, good. This is done. Okay, destroy. This will allow us to get our hospital up and running. So, yeah, I want... I'll just take all of this out. What is going on here? 
Hello? That was really weird. All right. So we want them to kind of connect here-ish. Right? So if we did... I think if we did something like here and then here... Does that give me enough room for a hospital? I think that's like a perfect spot. Oh man. If I got rid of... If I got rid of that gravel path, I think... Yeah. We could fit it in here. Okay. Gravel, remove. Demolition office. Remove it. Perfect. Okay, so they'll remove that. Then we can get the hospital in. Now this is at least cleaned up. Let's do that. And then reconnect. Like so. All right, that's a little bit more clean going through and into the city. And then we get our hospital in this spot right here. So I'll actually remove these trees real quick. So we know this is where the hospital's going. We won't build anything in there. And then once the hospital's in, it'll be hunky-dory. And hopefully when this uh, clothing factory goes up, that'll be good as well. Uh, and overall, I think we're I think we're looking okay. I mean, we're not looking we're not looking horrible. We're not looking great, great. But I think I think we're doing okay. Pollution's gone. That's great. Death of a child, not great. And I will enjoy culture. I mean, the cinema is almost open, so should be able to do soon. I feel like it's just like where you don't have enough, enough people. This is a construction office, but you're getting beat by this bus. Beat him. Beat him. No, he got beat. Pain. Yeah, he's probably just going to eat them all up. Oh, and they're all gone. <laughs> oh, there's <laughs> four of them filled back. Eight of them, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I mean, they're filling pretty fast. Um, I guess it's not horrible, but he's only going to get like... Oh, he didn't even take all of them. <laughs> what is going on? Do you have anybody en route? Okay, the bus has just picked up 13 is, is en route to you. Okay. <laughs> Um, maybe you'll be able to finish your project. How many cranes do we have? Just two. All right, that's fine, I think. Eventually, once we want high-rise cranes, we're going to need to purchase them. Um, yeah, where is it? Cranes, tower cranes. We're going to need to get these. <laughs> I mean, they're getting kind of expensive. Ah. Oh, well. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll be okay. All right, so now we just have an open void of just a, a place. <laughs> I don't know. I'll we'll have to figure out what to do with it. Uh, this is finished, so now we can add in... Oh, this is annoying. Ah, add it. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so now that will be a large pump. So that might be able to carry... Might be able to carry more. If you look at our water. Oh, it was green at one point. <laughs> yeah, these people are not getting any water. Oh my goodness me, goodness me. So I might have to put another one up in here. Give them more water. Um, so yeah, if I if I build this, this will get more water. I can destroy this this one. Oh, where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. This one. Destroy this one, move it up somewhere here. Then in its place I'll add another um pump. Actually, yeah, no, maybe, mm, eh. yeah, a pump. Because if I go switch, I have to go pump. So then I'll add another s substation, like, here-ish, which then should supply all of this. And maybe I'll add even a third one over here, just to be sure. And then I think that'll fix the issue that we're having. Uh, and then we also have to fix the issue with crops, because obviously we're not making enough crops. Uh, once we figure out that issue, I think a lot of issues will be good. Uh, won't have too many more issues. And this place needs to finish. Come on. So we can have more culture enjoyment. 
but everything else seems that we can't really do anything about it other than the unable to visit hospital, but I mean, that's kind of going away. Um, we also need to figure out our water issue and we're working on it gradually. So that's going to go away. Uh, we did finally fix this and eventually we're going to have a hospital in here, which is going to be absolutely wonderful and great. Um, that's a lot of workers. It's like more workers than everywhere else. Okay, um, yeah, and then, you know, the trucks, the, the paramedics will just go this way and out, whatever. Um, but the last thing I wanted to do uh, before we kind of wrap up this episode today, it feels like another chaotic... Every time I play this game, I'm not going to lie, every time I play this game, it's just another chaotic day <laughs> of just trying to figure things out and put out fires. And it's a bit stressful, so... Um, this school can do 540. I don't think I need that large of a capacity. I also don't think I need 360. I mean, eh, maybe, because I could just fill this primarily with students. And then we just have to figure all that out. So if I did something like this, that would get all of the students. But I want to be able to run this path. So if I... I did this and something like this. Uh, then I could add, we're also going to need another day, uh, kindergarten on a daycare. What, what capacity? 180. What capacity is this? I think it's the lowest one what capacity. Are you? Yeah, you're 120 and that's where we're running out. And then we're doing a large build here. So I think maybe 180. You see, we're maxing out. Um, maybe 180. I think 180 would be fine. Yeah. So if we did something like, so if we did, we did our school first, which this one is 360. I think the one that we have in right now is 156. It's like 19. I think 156 is fine. Because then we have two schools. I don't think we need a lot. So if we did something... Uh, so if I did... If I did this, and then I did waste, and I did this... Like that. And then we did another... Do 180 just to ensure that we have for sure enough and then that would reach there and then this gives me more houses here as well because they can all reach i'm pretty sure they all reach the grocery store you just need to be able to reach the kindergarten if we just extend this to about there and then add it on the kindergarten and we can even do it like right here. Just don't let just don't let the kids play in the road, okay? Or don't let them play on the tracks, cause you know they they might die. And if we did something like that, that would encompass all of them. And then to quote unquote remove the um, noise pollution, we can add in some pine trees, which would quote unquote remove the pollution from the train, the train noise pollution, right? Makes sense. Makes realistical sense. Uh, and then, yeah, we can add some more houses in here if we wanted to expand. And then we have this room for expansion and all of these can reach. Yeah. All of them can reach the supermarket. Um, hopefully they don't overfill it. They might cause it's a big expansion. I mean, I think this is it's not going to double it but it's it's going to it's going to run pretty close to what we've already have so uh there's currently no free oh there's free flats so oh, that's not free flats that's uh that's the college dorms um so yeah anyways i i think this is a good a good place to stop we do have the new new system going in here uh we're currently trying to figure out our water issue um, it, yeah, I want yellow to red. So, trying to figure this out. Uh, I think we're on track to figuring it out. 
I think it's just due to the fact that we don't have enough water pumping uh, for the demand. I just think it comes down to how many substations we have. But I wish, you know, the, the substation, it doesn't tell you. It's obviously right. Like this tells you 92%, right? Estimated max consumption, 92%. Uh, total all connection, 259. But like 92 for max consumption, like that's under. That's fine. Like we can live with that. But like when you look at this, it doesn't tell you anything, right? If we look at the one that's built, not the one that's building, it doesn't really tell you anything. Like this is saying that it's it's way under what it needs, but yet it it doesn't it doesn't work, right? This one is a is a big pump that goes to here. Um, this is producing, uh, you know, under. Oh wait, it needs, and it's only producing. It needs five point three. Oh, okay, so what does this need? Maybe I'm understanding it now. This needs 3.5. It's only producing 2.36. Ah, look at that. We're learning. So these only do... Max flow at max pressure per day. What's this pushing out? No, uh... Not this one, this one. It's pushing out 56.55 meters cubed a day. Uh, this is, oh my God, what? Right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm probably gonna end the video here. I'm gonna Google how this water stuff works because I feel that water export we're exporting, we're importing, exporting 25. We're exporting it here, but it's not producing enough. Water flow three. Because all these aren't working properly. That means there's an issue. It, it gets 10 a day and then it has to distribute it amongst amongst all of these what is this this produces seven where's its other output put oh there's its other output okay oh <sighs> Yeah. Hmm. Because this is... Oh, this is yellow. So maybe this isn't pushing enough water. Mm, output. Oh. oh. Maybe in this. Output. Oh, it's actually... Yeah, this... I think this is the issue. So maybe this all isn't the issue, and I'm just over-exaggerating it now. Maybe it's just this, because this is saying it's producing negative one point. <laughs> okay, that might be the issue. So if we added another, uh, should we add a big water well or just another small? Maybe just another small, and then we can go for a big one later. Um, so if we added, if we flip this and added it, can't build due to infrastructure. So if we did something like, this is 93. This is 94. You can add it. Uh, I think 93 is fine. We'll just add it on this side. So if we added like this, and then we added a large pump here, and then uh, I constructed it. To th yeah, because this is negative. This isn't keeping up. So if we add another pump, then this could push out more a day. Yeah, okay, I think this, I think I figured out the issue without completely screwing this up, screwing the pooch. So that if we do do two, then this could actually treat it, I think, fast enough. Because, oh, whoa, 55, six, ooh, maybe less water demand. Yeah, because it's pumping down. Because there's not enough water coming to the station for it to pump fast enough. 
Okay, and then I think if we run out and if we if two wells isn't enough, then I think we'll go up to three or up to just a large one uh, and do kind of a bigger system for it. Um, I really, I really hope that I really wish that we had more people uh, able to work, but I guess you can't always have what you want. Three flats. Okay, we're looking good. Looking good, people. All right. Well, I think I figured it out near the end of the episode what was going on, what the issue was. Uh, again, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. Um, I'm on my goal to getting 500 subscribers, so if you have any friends or family or anybody that you think might enjoy my episodes as well, if they like kind of the not typical gameplay of the YouTuber that knows it all and kind of just explains everything that they're doing, and you're trying to follow around something where it's maybe a little bit more um, a newbie doing it, I guess that would be maybe my channel just newbie gameplay but uh you know get them to get them to watch the videos get them to like get them to subscribe um and uh, remember to um even just uh, send a comment for the sake of engagement so hope you enjoyed this one and i will see everybody on the next one take care